Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for your meal. We've got another dose of funny <laughs> tweets. Can I say <laughs> in the title? We've got another dose of mother <laughs> falls tweets. Bleep all those out, editor. You son of a bitch. LMFAO. Pov, Eminem catches you cheating. Hey, I got off work early. Holy shit. Did I just catch you cheating? Oh, my head is steaming. I knew I heard heavy breathing. What's his name, huh? Heaven Steven. No pesky dweeb. I bet he's vegan. Hope the sex was decent. When's he leaving? Listen, bro, I'm sorry, man. I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, whatever, that. man. <laughs> I, the concept of watching a TikTok on Twitter that somehow got 384,000 likes is just crazy. I don't understand it, but very funny. That guy crushes it. Um, this looks like a, like a, I don't want to say what it looks like. <laughs> Why do we have a lamp with foreskin? Uh, I don't think I can do this, but I can, I can try, I guess, chat. One, one second. Subtitles, farting noise. Deaf people realizing that farts make a sound. <laughs> I don't think the caption is that funny, but I think Homelander losing his mind is always funny to me. The laugh. That part, that's the best part. And he's looking at his phone, which is also funny. I feel like I read an article once that said the guy who plays Homelander is cringe, but I think I might have dreamed it. Is it is it true? That, or is that something that I completely made up out of nowhere? He's kind of lib and I think he did fight someone once, but other than that, he's pretty cool. <laughs> this is this is balls. What cans? What is going on here? <laughs> I'm gonna get banned. That tweet was deleted. <laughs> Don't look. This is so kind. This is like, hey, that's my wife. <laughs> this is even funnier when you remember Chris has a bachelor's in English from Berkeley and he grew up in the film industry and now he's sitting next to someone saying, my favorite thing about the movie is like, it feels like a movie. <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah, the movie is like, it feels like a, like a movie. It feels like a real like, you know, go to the theater film movie that... <laughs> You know. Go to the theater, film, movie, put the reel on movie, use your eyes to watch the movie, sit in the chair, the movie chair. <laughs> what you do know, you think Harry Styles is theater, trying to say? Film. It feels like classic cinema. Ah, he's nostalgic for this type of film, maybe? <laughs> it's a shirt. You know, my favorite thing about the movie is like, it feels like a, like a movie. It feels like a real, like, you know, go to the theater, film, movie that you know. That shirt is so funny. Is gonna dox my address actually so funny you know the kind of reason why you go to the watch something on the big screen and i think <laughs> making a drake cake this chat <laughs> besides the skin color this looks more like me than Drake with the glasses. <laughs> I mean, if I didn't shave my beard and the chain. Oh no. Oh no, it's me. God, this cake is so funny that it looks like me. My weekend as a 28 year old in Chicago, Illinois. Started my day off with a guru and making my bed. It was mental awareness day at my company. So I got brunch with my friend Lizzie and had a few drinks. Then I met up with Devlin and we kayaked the Chicago river. It was actually pretty dope. Priscilla had never been to the Field Museum, so we had to check it out. Then we headed to El Paraiso for some drinks and vibes. We also got a margarita tower, so yeah. After the show, I met up with Lindsay Jacob Ellis and her sister Malmo for tequila shots and yet another Marg Tower. It was so much fun. Then we went to Rind for their stuffed pineapple, which was absolutely to die for. And their snow crab was pretty good too. Here's at Brow Brow in Tomlin Square with Jake Ben and Jordan. My friends are the craziest. More drinks, then we went to Rosemary for small bites, and somehow- How much money do you think he spent this day? We ended up going to Medieval Times. 
I don't know, the rest of the night was kind of a blur. Woke up Saturday and took lunch for a while. We found cicada skin and I tried to get him to eat it, but he didn't. Another guru, then a much needed pork chop from the Golden Nugget. Rosie invited me to go to the Museum of Ice Cream, which was actually pretty dope. She's so precious. Couple rounds of Zothuro, we went to the world's largest Starbucks, then met up with Kenzie and Marvin at the Museum of Ice Cream, which was actually pretty dope. Got a Marg Tower. I don't even have this many friends. But then I had a dessert date with Kara at the Museum of Ice Cream, and then we got hungry, so we grabbed a bite of- Did he go to the Museum of Ice Cream three times? I'm sorry. I'm being gaslit this is this is fading into absurdity right because that's the third time yes that's the third time he went to the museum yeah, of ice cream met up with my girlfriend darla at legoland then caught a <laughs> he's got so movie many with girlfriends her kp and stopped at target on the way to boba bo for drinks then stopped at target before going to cafe menu on the east loop for georgina's 45th i got the number six which includes 45th salad yeah, my wife and husband thought it'd be a good day for a hike so we <laughs> did that after that i ranked every girl i know on a scale of one to ten and wrote apology letters to the sub fours <laughs> yet another mark time. went on a hike with aaron then friends giving atlanta's condo and and we played some VR and made hot dogs and saw a comedy show and saw a comedy show and made some of my famous daily. But I guess that was my weekend. Wow, what a weekend. His wife, his husband, his girlfriend, his girlfriend, his girlfriend. And who's going to forget the Museum of Ice Cream, the Museum of Ice Cream, the Museum of Ice Cream, the Museum of Natural History, and the Museum of Ice Cream. Chat, kind of a boring weekend, to be honest, <laughs> now that I think about it. Okay, we got some Mr. Beast stuff, 1 million views. Mr. Beast, what does he teach? Blasphemy and greed A YouTube star, millions of views But tell me, what would Jesus do? Good question You see, he's not a Christian channel <laughs> Does he like the number of man? I'll bet somewhere he has oh. a 666 tattoo that's a crazy accusation. So please heed my warning. You're young, your brain's still forming. And father knows best. Forget Mr. Beast. This is from Cold Ones. They hired a Fiverr artist. It would be fun to go on Fiverr and make please some songs for Logan and Atriox. Damn, that slapped. Daily Pixar Cars facts number 218. In planes, we see New York City with no twin towers, implying 9-11 has happened in the Pixar Cars universe. <laughs> oh. I just discovered that baby owls sleep on their stomachs because their heads are too heavy and I can't stop laughing. This looks extremely comfortable. This is how I like to sleep when I am also a baby owl. This is me when I go to bed and I go, Rochelle, your time has come. <laughs> Scratch my back. <laughs> what do we got here? The way he screamed made my soul leave my body. Son, and we are doing the emoji challenge. Today I'm doing whipped cream. <sighs> He's like the guy in Bloodsport. I love just staring at the camera and screaming after you do it. That loud, actually funny. Look at his face, dude. You bear witness. I want to change my profile picture to this. It's actually so funny. And our last one. Waluigi ASMR warning loud volume. Oh, is this the same one? <laughs> the internet's so fucking sick. <laughs>